start the meditation with thoughts of goodwill. We do this because we realize that if there's going to be goodness in the world, it has to come from our intentions. And that intention is a good one to start with. May all beings be happy. See if you can use that to motivate your actions and your words and your thoughts as you go through the day. Because we're going to be dealing with people who are easy to deal with and people who are hard to deal with. And you don't want to make the fact that somebody's hard to deal with an excuse for you to misbehave. I was talking to someone today who was talking, mentioning how it seems more and more a society that courtesy and respect are optional. But if you want a good life, if you want a good world to live in, you can't make these things optional. They're necessary. And where are they going to come from? You can't wait for them to start with other people. You have to start with yourself. The goodness starts here. You don't tally up the wrongs that other people have done. You notice well, there are certain people that if you're going to be kind to them, you're kind in one way, and other people, when you're kind to them, you're kind in another way. And you can't be friends with everybody, and you can't assume that everybody else has goodwill. So you have to use discernment in how you exercise your goodwill. But in the back of your mind, there should always be the thought, may this person be truly happy. Now, sometimes that may mean that they have to change their ways. And you ask yourself, is there any way that I can help? And if there is, you're happy to do it, because that becomes more of your goodness, too. And the goodness here translates into a sense of well-being deep inside. So as with all the Brahma Viharas, you use discernment as you exercise your goodwill, your compassion, your empathetic joy, and your equanimity. And they really do develop the mind. At the same time, you find yourself in a much better world. Other people may behave, may be behaving just as they were before, but your commentary on their behavior is going to be a different kind of commentary. One that doesn't stab needles into your heart. One that maintains the goodness and helps it, helps it grow. <laughs>